another Friday, we've got another five apps for you. First off, thanks a lot for all the comments, all the love on last week's episode. And here's our five for this week. My name is Ash. This is C4E Apps on C4E Tech. Let's get started. Let's start with Cover. This is a simplistic lock screen replacement for your phone. Enabling this app brings up a panel of apps on the left. You can drag the cover from an app halfway to take a quick peek on the app or drag it to fully open the app. Cover has triggers like location based on which it changes a few settings like the ringer and so on, helping you automate more efficiently. Additionally, it also learns and curates apps as per your use at a set location. I, for example, use Gmail a lot at work, so here you can see it right up top. You also get an app switcher panel, which can be triggered from the home screen. You can either launch your most used apps with this or swipe to the left to get back to the cover lock screen. One obvious con here that might stop people from using this is the fact that you can't set a password for the lock screen. That said, it's interesting enough and makes its way over onto a list for this week. The next app today is Tap It. This is an offline wallpaper generator for your phone. It can generate high quality backgrounds with just a swipe. You get new wallpapers with different colors, patterns and so on. You can like or dislike a wallpaper or add it to your home screen by clicking on the big tick below. A slide-in menu from the left lets you see the available patterns. You can change your color priorities, brightness, saturation and more. The history displays all the wallpapers generated by you. Additionally, Tappet also lets you automatically change the wallpaper at set intervals. You can even add shortcuts to customize the wallpaper right from the home screen. If you've been on YouTube for a while and have gone through the comment sections, I'm sure you'd have seen a bunch of images made up of text. Tictures is an app that lets you create such things. Text plus pictures equal tictures. Get it? Tictures has categories like anger, sad, happy, funny, and so on. You can scroll through the different tictures present and long press on a picture to copy it and paste it onto your messenger or social media app of choice. The recent tab shows all the recently used tictures. You can also customize a picture or favorite it. This is a fun little app that I'm pretty sure you'd like to try. If you've ever wanted a more feature feature pack clipboard, then Clipboard Actions is an app that might interest you. This app offers traditional features when you copy something. Once you copy text, let's say a link, a notification pops up giving you options to open said link, share it, or shorten it using bit.ly or bit.ly. You can view the older copied text by tapping on the arrows from the notification bar. There are a lot of features depending on the type of text you copy. Like for example, you can translate copied text, search for an address on Google Maps and so on. Opening up the app, you can view all the copied content here. You can clear items from the clipboard by swapping to the left. Under settings, you can see all the actions available and can toggle any action on or off. Moving on to the last app on today's list, we've got AudioVision. AudioVision is well, a audio visualizer come music player. AudioVision looks like your regular music player and has your tracks sorted into songs, playlists and so on. The regular stuff. But what makes this different is the fact that when you play a track, you get a visualizer and you can swipe to switch between different ones and some even let you customize it with logos. There are other customization options as well. Barring this, AudioVision is quite a decent music player by itself. It even has a built-in equalizer. If a functional music player with a cool visualizer is something you're looking for, then this one's for you. So that's it for today's episode of C4E Apps. If you like the apps that we mentioned today, are there any that you want us to test? Please let us know in the comments below. Your feedback is what helps us improve. It is what we read, we go through every single week. We take suggestions from it. We try to improve on areas that we, I mean, you think we need to improve on. So please make your voices heard. Leave a comment below. And as always, uh, in the description, you can find the timestamps and direct links to download these apps from the Play Store. So if you did like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, go ahead, vote it down. If you did like it a little too much and want to watch more content like this, hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. So that's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.